We have a few surprises for you today on At Your Leisure as we take a closer look at one destination you know, but you probably don't really know it at all. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. Can you really find vast recreational possibilities in Tooele, Utah? Well, we'll delve in and find some amazing things to show you. Then Stephen Human looks at our western dirt roads and finds an amazing heritage you should get out there and enjoy. Finally, Restein hits Kodachrome. Only outdoors right now on AYL. You know, it's kind of like Mayberry on steroids. Big enough to have fun, but small enough to give you that old time town feel. Hi everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth, and we're in Tooele County, Utah, and Chad and I are touring Main Street, Tooele, on our bikes. And boy, this is a great way to find out what a town's all about. That's true. We are uh, going to kind of take a one-day itinerary, and there's a lot more than just riding bikes around town, although I highly recommend it. Uh, to discover what goes on in a little town like this. I mean, they have got one of the best trail systems in the state. By the time they're done, they plan on being the biggest. They've got parks and museums galore, and you can come out and spend one, two, or three days here, not be too far away from home, so you save on the gas, but still can have a lot of fun. That's right, Chad. There's plenty to do here today, and we're going to show you what it's all about. But right now, we're going to go to Stephen Human and see what he's doing on an ATV. Thanks guys, I'm Stephen Human. The Southwest is known for its striking views. It's also known for adventure and roads just like this. You put the two together, well, that's what I'm gonna show you today. It seems sometimes like we live in a world of asphalt and concrete. Our highways stretch out into the distance like black ribbons that have been cast aside after a party. We build massive cities that teem with life, but at the same time, frame the world in shiny glass and angular corners that order our existence in right and left turns. But when you see a scene like this, everything changes. A natural world of color and vibrancy, where the angles aren't straight and the smells invite you to take a step forward. In this landscape, there is no highway or convenience store, only dirt roads that wiggle here and there through the brush. Simple things that can alter the course of a man's life. It's been said that east is east and west is something different entirely. Part of what makes that such a true statement is the existence of dirt trails like this and the opportunity they offer to climb on a quad, side by side or four by four and explore. The west is a land without bounds and in some way itself is out of bounds. But finding an area where every turn of the trail brings something new to the eye, that is when life really becomes about living. Knowing where to go, having a destination, or just really just kind of exploring, both of those are fun. And the more you know about an area and can pass it on. With our children, we have six children, and they were all raised motorcycling together. And so they have that family bond that they're passing on to their own families. There are thousands of miles of dirt roads and trails in Utah alone, stretching from desert riding areas like Five Mile Pass, just an hour outside of Salt Lake City, to places that allow you to gaze and wonder at epic landscapes like Bumblebee Trail just outside Cedar City. And as the higher elevations begin to open up, you have even more options. Oh, we're just coming off of our, of our spring where our mountains are uh, starting to melt off and we can't quite get to the tops of the mountains and on our trails there. We like to make sure we uh, let that snow melt so we can keep our trails clear and safe and keep the, the mud down to a, a low so we can uh, do minimal but damage to our trails. With the snow coming off, trails like Mineral Fork in Big Cottonwood Canyon are again accessible, as are the mountaintops of the Shoshone Trail outside Logan, Utah. But let's go back to Bumblebee for a minute. This is an interesting ride just west of Canaraville and Old Highway 91 on Bumblebee Road. The ride itself is fairly easy and the road is wide and greater than enough that you can actually take a regular car. But it's the views in Nikolov and Zion that set this ride apart. The trail actually goes uh, up on over the top and drops off into a little community uh, of New Harmony. The view from the west side over here um, is a view that a lot of people don't see. Um, from the freeway when they're driving down I-15. And from up here to back to our east, we have the uh, Kolob Five Fingers uh, that you can see. 
Um, they have uh, a little information trail up there for Lee's Pass and, and some of the hiking trails that are uh, go down into the uh, Kolob uh, Zion National Park. It almost doesn't matter where you are in the West, particularly in Utah. You aren't far from the possibility of off-road exploration. It's a part of our heritage and one of the reasons we are who we are. This ability to explore and look past the horizon is a key element in the modern mystique of Western life. And if you've never stepped out of your concrete world and discovered something new for yourself and your family, consider this your invitation. Get out and, and get away from the city and, you know, and enjoy the, the areas that are wonderful. You know, the city life is, is nice, it has its own features, but to be out and to free yourself of stress, that's really important. You need to get out here with your family and enjoy the opportunities we have here in the West. For At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen Human. If you'd like more information on where Steve has been riding his ATV today, our website is the place you'll find the answer to it, AYLTV.com. Go to Episodes and click on today's episode. Now, we're going to talk trails here in Tooele County. I'm here with David Brown, who's the trails coordinator for Tooele County, and I'm liking what I see on your trail sign here. Tell me about all of this. We have trail systems for everybody. We try to make all our trail system multiple use. That's not always possible, but that's our goal. You can ride your bike, you can hike, you can ride your horse, or you can use an ATV. This is one of them that you can do that from. So from here by the golf course, where can I go to if I hopped on a side-by-side? -side? This is a staging area that can take you from here to the Bingham Overlook, look down into the Bingham Mine. They could go north and go all the way to the lake. They could go across the valley to Deseret Peak for a day of swimming or whatever you want. The pool's open now. Or they could access the Stansbury Mountains and clear across the valley. So if somebody were trying to get a countywide idea of how much recreation they could do, if they came here, uh, you know, I'm almost hearing more than a day's worth of activity. You come out and rent a room here and do what? You could rent a room. There's 200 miles of sign trails. And we've set it up so that you can access the trail system just about from any area. If you work at it on an ATV, it's accessible by horses, bike, whatever. There's a few restrictions on ATV, but very few. Well, how do people find out more information? Because I'm sure that not everybody watching can memorize what they're no. seeing on this map. Uh, we have a website, TooleCountyTrails.com, and then we have a hard, a hard copy map that you actually can take with you. GPS points, degree of difficulty. If you want to put your granddaughter on behind, does she need water? All those type of things are taken care of in the trails map, but you can go to TwillaCountyTrails.com and plan your whole trip from your living room. I gotta tell you, this is more fun than a human being should be allowed to have in a single day. Stay with us, we'll be right back with more of our Tooele County Day Adventure right after this commercial break. It's gonna be fine, dear, you're doing great. Breathe, deep breathing. Some quick breaths, quick breaths, that'll help. Honey, everything's gonna be okay. Don't worry, the doctor's gonna be here and just see. Triple S Polaris, how can I help? Who are you? Wait a minute, you're not the doctor. How are you gonna help? Where is the doctor? Well, you know the Triple S slogan, service to the power of three. We take that very seriously. Now, let's get this birth going. If you want service that really goes above and beyond, you want Triple S Polaris, service to the power of three. Why buy a boat? Because your wife, your husband, your kids, your neighbors, your boss, your employees, your ex-mother-in-law, your cats, your dogs, they will all love you if you buy a boat. Start building memories now. Executive Boat and Yacht, 3733 South Main, executiveyacht.com. Vernal is just one of those unique places in Utah where you have the mountains, you have the rivers, you have two lakes within 20 minutes of town relax as a family, do a lot of swimming. If you would like the, the desert area, you go south, there's a lot of history out south. It just has everything. It's kind of a little mini resort for us. That's what we've always viewed it as. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Well, Chad and I are still leisuring around in Tooele County, and we drive by this place and Chad says, we have to stop. We have to stop every time. This is one of Chad's personal p favorite picks, and anytime I come to Tooele County, I have to come here to Thompson Smokehouse. Now, I used to just drive by it. It's just a little building at the Erda turnoff on the highway into Tooele. 
But then one day I was headed out on an ATV ride with Bruce Stedman. He said, let's get some beef jerky on the way. I went, oh, okay. So, you know, I thought we were going to go to 7-Eleven. He comes down here. By the time we got to Nephi, I wanted to turn around and come back and get more. <laughs> this stuff is absolutely the best jerky in the entire world. Oh my gosh. Can I have a bite? Well, you'll eat the whole thing. <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right, this is Chad's product review, but now we're going to go see what Darren Kinder has to say about this product review. Well, thanks guys. Our product review today is the Maverick 1000 2C. And this is a heck of a machine, so let's take her out for some fun. Maverick's really cool because the suspension, when you goose it, just sucks down like you're in a trophy truck taking off, getting ready for a big jump. That engine is so torquey, it immediately responds, and away it goes. First of all, you'll notice that it's got Bighorn tires on it. They're 27 inch, and it has a true bead lock on it. You can see up here in the front end, we have the Fox podium shocks. They're fully adjustable, so whether you want to do some desert racing, or you want to do some rock crawling, it works both. They work well for both. Up here in the front, Can-Am's done something a little bit different, and that is they've put the air intake all up here in the front, so it's always getting nice clean air up here. They've also put a vent here that, that creates positive airflow behind the windshield, so you're not getting that dust rolling up into the machine. The Maverick comes with a two and a half inch roll cage on it that's fully gusseted, this will really aid in how long it'll last and hold up, and also if you ever do roll it over, it's very strong. Now here in the back, again we have the Fox Podium shocks, so full travel suspension, but they've gone to this TTA rear suspension on which is a torsional translink arm, and basically you have two A arms, and they're hooked to a torsion bar right here, and what this allows it to do is the, the tires go straight up and down when it gets put in an angle. So that makes good contact for the tires and reduces the skid on them. Now also back here you'll notice it has dual exhaust on it and this dual exhaust travels all the way from the engine back to here because they're using a V-twin motor that's rated at a little over 100 horsepower. Now this machine can get lots of features like a lot of machines. You got trunks and bags and roofs and windshields. I mean the, the options never quit it seems like on these anymore. But one of the things I like that comes standard are these nice, plush, comfy seats. They're very well bolstered. You can spend all day in these and, and they hold you in place very well. You're not gonna go have to go out and spend some extra money on some aftermarket seats for it. You can also get it with a four-point harness. Now, if you wanna see all the different options that are available, get into Weller Recreation in Camas and they'll be glad to show it to you. I'm Darren Kinder, we'll see you next time. While other dealers may be springing ahead, Ray City is rolling back. Prices, that is. Right now, you can buy a brand new 2015 Cyclone 3010 toy hauler with a separate garage starting at $42,950. Ray City RV, serving Utah since 1946. Hunt, farm, or trail. Polaris has what you want. Legendary ATVs, led by the powerful Sportsman 850HO. Value-minded side-by-sides, featuring the new Ranger 800 midsize and full-size workhorses, including the all-new class-leading 60-horsepower Ranger XP900. Polaris, hardest working, smoothest riding. You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? Find the beauty, serenity, family fun, or anything else that's missing from your life in the Cedar City Bryan Head area. Gain access to your adventure, whether it's camping, hiking, the arts, festivals, or just a getaway. Visit CedarCityAYL.com for details on all the adventures that you can access in scenic southern Utah. Ray City wants you to get the jump on June and get your family camping. Buy a Wildwood x Lite Series camping trailer with three floor plans to choose from for only $13,998. Ray City RV, serving Utah since 1946. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Today, we are at the Benson Gristmill out here in Tooele City in Tooele County. 
and I'm standing with Mark McKendrick, who is the Director of Parks and Recreations for Tooele County. Nice to meet you, Mark. Nice to meet you. And so happy to have you here. Can, can you tell me a little bit about Tooele County, what they have to offer the city? Well, we're here at the historic Benson Grist Mill, which is located uh, just right, right into the county, fresh off the freeway, and um, we're one of the first spots you can stop and visit. And we have several other museums located in the county. There's the Donner Reed Museum in Grantsville. Um, we have the Miller Motorsports Park Museum. Uh, Deseret Peak Complex houses the Fireman's Museum and the Ochre Mountain Mining Museum. And then Tool City has the Railroad Museum. And this so, is incredible, filled with history in this little town. And yes. the county is, I mean, a lot of people come out here, they think of the Army Depot, they think of things like that. But honestly, there is so much to do here and you could just drive right through it and you wouldn't know it. Right. Yep, you can come out here and spend a day, spend a couple days and uh, visit all the museums and plus visit some of our recreational sites. The Desert Peak Pool is open this summer. Um, we have our canyon camping. Uh, and then of course we have our uh, biking and our motorized trails that are available as well. Well, thanks so much, Mark. This is just a great little museum. There's so much to do here. Well, thank you for coming. We're glad to have you. We're glad to be here. Okay, right now we're gonna check out what Reese Stein's up to. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure in one of the most unusual places in the world. Here it looks as though stone sickles have shot up right out of the earth. Well, there's one, there's another one, and another. These stony stick-ups are all over this place. The park's known for the 67 sedimentary pipes that are here, these big freestanding stone spires. 67 of them in a tiny area of just over 2,200 acres. What are they? And why are they only here? Well, luckily, we found Marnie Beam of Brigham City in the campground. She's a geology student. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of theories about that. And I guess the latest one is their liquefaction features. Um, which means that water kind of under the pressure of other overlying sediments worked its way up through and then solidified and then the uh, weaker rock eroded. Uh, yeah, in other words, we think they're the remains of petrified springs and geysers. The water channels have been filled with hard rock and the softer sandstone around them has been eroded away. That's what some people think, yeah. yeah. That's, as, that's as good as any. As good as any. Yeah. Whatever, it's just neat to walk among them, and there are plenty of places to walk. There's a lot of hiking areas, and I really like to go hiking. And we went on a hike, an uh, eight-mile hike today, and saw a lot of cool rocks and stuff. There was one that kind of looked like a ballerina, sort of. <laughs> and then there was this other one, and it kind of looked like there were hats. But a recent rainstorm knocked off some of the hats. But the rain didn't seem to bother this guy. Well, this is obviously a gnome. And he's one of the most perfect gnomes I've ever seen. He's... Why is he a gnome? What about him? Well, look at his tall peaked hat. You've got the nose shape that's perfect in his face, the eyes under the hat. This is definitely a gnome. And this guy looks like Fred Flintstone. Maybe that's Barney on the right. Back in 1948, National Geographic magazine dubbed the place Kodachrome, but somebody else owned that name. We did have to get permission from Kodak, and it kind of went back and forth for a while. The park was known as Chimney Rock for a while and Kodachrome, and it went back and forth until the state finally got permission from Kodachrome to use the name. Chimney Rock sits all by itself, a short drive down a dirt road, well worth a picture or two. In the same area, a short hike ends at the only arch in the park. Shakespeare Arch, tucked high against a sandstone cliff, is named not for the bard, but for the park's first manager. Sue Bassett and her nephews have driven over from Escalante <laughs> so the kids can have some fun and Sue can preach a little environmental awareness. We, there is one place where I let them climb, and because in this area right here, they won't disturb any soil, they're not gonna cause any problems, so they're very much aware of the trail this Eagles View Trail climbs some 500 feet above the valley floor for some great looks at the park and the campground below. There is also a handicap accessible hard pack loop trail with this place highlighting the desert flora. The park has a campground with 33 campsites, 10 full hookup sites which have water, sewer and electric which have been very popular. Those we've put in over the last couple of years um, and they stay full all the time and we're hoping that maybe we can get a few more put in in the next year or so. The campground has tables on concrete pads, fire pits and over the years the trees have filled in offering a bit of shade 
And a prime feature of State Park campgrounds is the modern bathroom, which includes showers. Visitation was relatively flat for a few years, but in the last couple of years it's picked up every year. We've always gotten a lot of European visitors, and we're starting to get more out-of-state people and even more people from Utah. It's never been a real popular destination for Utahns, but um, it's, we're getting more and more popular. But if camping out isn't your thing, check out the six deluxe cabins for rent, as the McCartan family of Washington State did. Well, the cabins have little kitchens in them. A couple of them have two beds. One of our beds isn't particularly comfortable, but uh, that's okay. Other than, that, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, we're doing rock, paper, scissors to figure out who has to sleep on that one. And if hiking is a bit much, Wrangler Steve Beagley has another way to enjoy Kodachrome. We go out around the Panorama Trail. This, these series of rocks behind us is called the Panorama. Uh, we have a one hour ride that just circles that trail, and we have a two hour ride that goes out to what they call Cool Cave. Kodachrome Basin is less than an hour's drive from Bryce Canyon, but isn't nearly as crowded. It's a great base from which to visit Bryce, the Grand Staircase, and many other natural attractions in the area. Free Stein at your leisure, Kodachrome Basin State Park. Our trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles, and they'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the RockyMountainATVMC.com website, and you can take a look at it there. Well, Reese has hit on one of my favorite places in Utah at Kodachrome Basin. If you'd like to find out more about it, go to Utah State Park's website, and you can find out about reservations and things you can do while you're down there. I love those hoodoos down there. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, you know, we're touring town of Tooele, and this town is so sweet. It's just got a really little small time feel, but there's a lot to do here. And we're on our bikes, and I said, let's go get some ice cream. And this place is fantastic. Dairy Delight, it's off the beaten path, but you want to try it out. This is so fun. What does this remind you of? When I was a kid, growing up in my little small town, it was, this is just really fun. Well, very good. You know, when you get off the beaten path, riding, taking bikes to a town like this is always a great way to get around, because if you drive through on the main highway, you never get a flavor for the historical part of the town. Mm -hmm. When you ride your bikes and you up and down the streets, you'll find little parks, you'll find museums, um, little museums, museums. you'll find old, even old houses. There's one about two blocks up on the same street. It's got to be a pioneer home. Somebody's still living in it. It's all amazing. Painted up nice. So yeah. that's a great way to get out and discover things. You really should check out the town. It's fantastic. We are going to go to our commercial break, but when we come back, there'll be more of a Tooele, Utah tour. Mm, chocolate cherry. Yummy. There's no need to travel far to find that perfect family adventure. Juab County, it'll change your family forever. Looking for fun and excitement this summer? Get your family and friends out without emptying your wallet. Ride'em Rents has two and four seat razors to take your family to the great outdoors. They also rent standard four-wheelers and dirt bikes. Hourly, daily, and weekly rentals available. Give Ride'em Rents a call today at 435-224-4947 or check us out online at ridemrents.com. Call for reservations today. AYL wants you to win the trip of a lifetime. Sign up now on Facebook to win a Caribbean cruise on MSC Cruise Lines. Go to AYLTV.com for more details and watch At Your Leisure Saturday nights at 1030 and Sunday mornings at 9 on ABC4 Utah. Public lands are a part of our American heritage. They define us in ways that go beyond just our need to explore and our drive to see past the horizon. As these lands are closed and public access limited, the toll is greater than just a few miles of trail gone or an inaccessible overlook. The price is our American lifestyle itself. The Blue Ribbon Coalition fights to make sure that doesn't happen. The Blue Ribbon Coalition is there to make a stand. Join us in the battle. BlueRibbonCoalition.org. We fight for access. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Chad and I are still exploring Tuella. There's so much to do here. That's true. This little place is a find. It's the south end of town, and it is called Settlement Canyon. It is a campground, a bunch of hiking trails, a day use area with a playground, a lot of primitive camping where you can pull off and put your tents up in the trees and meadows like this. And right here alongside of us are RV sites with full hookups. And it's run by the county. It's 
very inexpensive to stay here. So it's, it's a little hideaway and it's beautiful. You go to the south end of town and you look for Settlement Canyon Road. If you don't see the signs from Highway 36, just look for Camp Wapiti. Camp Hip Wapiti. Hippity hoppity goes the Wapiti. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of that. We are going to talk about our calendar of events. The first thing we're going to talk about is the Red Fleet Paddle Fest in Vernal, Utah. You don't want to miss that this year. It's June 20th and 21st. That's always so much fun, so get out there, you in a county, and experience that. Well, of course, down in Fillmore County on the 24th through the 28th, we've got the National ATV Jamboree, and they have got so many trails to the west and the east out of Fillmore that you can really ride this uh, jamboree for like three or four years and not cover all the options and trails. And I particularly like going east towards Richfield. It's a beautiful mountain pass. Mm -hmm. And don't forget about signing up for our AYL Caribbean cruise that we are doing with MSC Cruise Lines and Columbus Travel. And you want to get on Facebook and just like us and sign up for that cruise. And there's also another great way to do it if you want to text us AYL five triple eight five and just let us know who you are and get yourself in that lottery. Yeah, if you've never signed up for a contest, the texting is the quickest way to do it. I, I do want to also mention that if, you, if you're kind of reluctant because you say, I don't do Facebook, well, winning a cruise is probably worth doing Facebook. So get on, <laughs> sign up today and come find us and like us. There you go. Last thing we want to talk about is our contest winner this week. The Sheffield sent in this photo displaying their AYL sticker as they were stopped to fix a flat tire outside of Marysville, Utah. So you are the winner of a Camp Chef stove. Yeehaw! Yay and yippee. Unlucky at tires and lucky in the drawing. How's that? Thanks for that Facebook post. It made our day. I hope you got your tire fixed. I'll check in with Steve to find out what's happening next week on At Your Leisure. Want to go for a train ride into mystery? Well, next week, that's exactly what you're getting on At Your Leisure. Chad and Rhea travel to Arizona, where they climb on the boxcars in search of adventure. Then join me, Stephen Human, as I show you one event that's a real snore, but it's anything but boring. We'll also find out what Reagan Ledbetter is cooking in the outdoors. See you here next week. Looks like a great show next week. Sorry we ran out of time. This has been a great day in Tooele, Utah. You know, it really has. And uh, this is actually what it's all about. As we've been making our way up this bike path that's alongside of the highway into the east part of the valley, it's got covered with wild flowers. There's lavender down here, you've got yellow wildflowers. It really is very different than the image you have of Tooele when you're driving out on I-80 past Grantsville because you'd have no idea that this is pretty out here. It's plush, it's green, it's just absolutely beautiful. Now, you know, we were talking about trails earlier. They have the Mormon Trail Loop that they're working on, which is going to be a bike path for paved bikes like our little street cruisers here. Right, and I can't wait till we get on those. That's going to be in the not too distant future. That's right, they're working on that right away. Yeah. Well, if you'd like more information about uh, Tooele County, you can go to the Tooele County Tourism website. You can find out about some of the things we've covered today. Or you can check out the link on our website, AYLTV.com. It's been a great day. Well, between now and the next time, don't forget to get out there with your family, your friends, your loved ones, people you don't even know in the great outdoors. <laughs> At, At your, your leisure. Fun. Let's ride and find somebody we don't know. <laughs> we know everybody. One thing we notice is how beefy of, um, sorry. Do I say we're over here? Actually, actually what I should.